I grew up in Mexico City. I started competing in gymnastics. I got to the Olympic team going to Moscow. Russia invaded Afghanistan and Mexico boycotted the Olympics. I had no idea what to be anything else. My father pretty much said, Rebecca, you are going to the United States. I started taking calculus classes, physics classes, but also art classes and design classes. Design, nobody knew. It was such a young field. Everybody was more curious rather than wanting to deny it. I went quick into corporate design. I hated my field. I needed to become a being with knowledge, not just with technique. I was able to go back to Art Center. I joined the design office. This gray hair, I think, came from that time. <laughs> doing my master's, part-time teaching, part-time doing my business. I began to work closely with more cultural clients. Tony Arifin, the most incredible creative director I've ever met, he said, Rebecca, I'm working at Wyden and Kennedy. I need you here. And I said, Tony, you're the devil. Ad agencies are the devil. He said, what you make in six months, I could pay it to you in a couple of weeks. And I thought, eh, that sounds seductive. I ended up flying there and working for about two years at the same time that we were running our business here. What I wanted to learn is how to communicate to millions. When you are creative director, you can see yourself as the orchestra director. I would hire the strongest filmmakers, photographers, writers. You have a vision and then you create your creative team to execute it. There was also the dark side of advertising. You can work for a year on something and someone with power can come and destroy it. That's not the way that my brain is going to be used. Shifting to becoming a full-time professor at UCLA, I'm able to spend the time creating the space to be an artist. I think of the force of life. Can we maintain this without touching a plant? Am I an artist? Am I a designer? Am I Mexican? Am I American? If there's anything constant in my life, is being both and neither.